Welcome to the Pauper Gauntlet. It's time to play Bugs and Pigs in round 6. I am somewhat surprised that this deck is still around here, but it is. I want to play first. We can't out-tempo anything, so we'll just play extremely defensively. We have to mulligan a one lander. And this one we are playing. This looks so random. He has mulligan to six as well, and I keep bugs and pigs playing round six of the pauper gauntlet. Who ever thought that? Well, bugs and pigs are going to win the pauper gauntlet. Yes, sir. You heard it here first. Uh, that is not good. Well, we'll just block and prevent him from enabling. The only reason to do that is that you have two pit skulks. But what is the turn three play? Maybe we just... Maybe we just kill the pit skulk. No, we have to get more mana. Do we want this trade? I'm not sure. I am really, really, really not sure here. Oh, he'll overrun me. I'm gonna go for the blue mana. Now Hunger of the Howl Pack will suck. No hunger yet. A river boa. So a swamp now would be extremely good. No swamp. But cycle the tusker for a swamp already now. Just to play it. A fume spitter. Yeah, I'm gonna try to block them both. And if it fails, I have the crypt rats. So I think that is okay. So block the pit skulk, kill the river boa. Oh, I couldn't do it the other way around, so block it. Kill it. Well, Groundswell is very nice and all, but it doesn't really save you. But you do indeed do damage. So you could get the 2 2 pit skulk now. Vicar Bo Elder feels not very good here. There is the second pit skulk as expected, and now River Boa dies. And I can just Crypt Rat his team. But I don't want to do that yet. I want to play a Maldrifter. Yes, Maldrifter, very nice. And now he has to do something about that. So I'm gonna draw another card from him. Block the smaller pit skulk. I'm setting up a giganormous crypt rat here. Yeah, that was what I wanted. So 
So now it's ratty time. Good threat for two. That felt good. Wickabo Elder is really bad here. Another River Boa. We can actually do the Grim Harvest Fume Spitter trick. But we don't have to because we have timed a Fume Spitter. Which means that we can play. We don't really need to have Negate, right? We can play the Wickebo Elder. And go to town. We can do the Grim Harvest trick with the Sakura Tribe Elder for the Muldrifter. Or for the Tusker. This is working quite well. Queer Ranger shows up. And Nettle Sentinel. So, um, wow, I have so many options here. Sakura Tribe Elder, we'll have some sort of fight here. I can negate and I can Grim Harvest at the end of turn. That's my line. Not sure if it was the right one. This deck is very complicated. Shinnen? He's gonna be a problem. Can't wait to see what the cyborg plan is like, but I'm not gonna look at it now. Please attack! Damn it! Okay, I'm getting lands, I'm Grim Harvesting. Crypt Rats? But I'm gonna lose the Grim Harvest then, am I not? One, two, this cast the crypt. Yeah, I need one more mana. Three, seven, it's too early. Yeah, I might have misplayed this. But crypt writing for two seems pretty powerful. And I can also negate the grow spells. I figure I can lose the Grim Harvest. Or can I? Uh, can I play this without losing the Grim Harvest? What if I don't do anything this turn? Well, he's gonna kill the Crypt Rat. I think I have to lose it. Back. Save the negate mana. I'm losing. I'm, I'm killing my Crypt Rat. But I'm gonna deal with his entire board. 
And then I have Shamish Edict. And 3-3 three, three in play. Sorry, Grim Harvest. I know I wasn't supposed to do that, but this should be enough to dominate him, shouldn't it? Or not? Uh, well, now it's enough to dominate him. Play really large guy. Yes. Okay, bugs and pigs. Source Kitty Beast and Burn, Delver, Delver, Phoenix, Unicorn, No Familiars, Five Cold Green Goblins, Hottie. So you have a sideboard for White Hot Hottie, but you don't have one for Stompy. Okay, then I have to think for myself. Damn it. What about Goblins? Bring in Life Staffs, Doom Blades, Tangle. Crypt Rats. Take out, negate. Teachings. Vicar Bow Elders. Mull Rifters. <sighs> oh, there's Stompy. Three Doom Blades, two Tangles, three Life Staff. That's what I did, right? It's not uh, properly. Stompy is. Look at this. Stompy is hidden, but I found it. Negate Chaitin, Wicked Bow, Mulrifter, two Tuskers. So what am I missing? I brought in one card too many. Three Doom Blades, two Tangles, three Life Staff. Did I bring in anything else? Do I only have three Maldrifters? No, oh, they are four from the start. I won't, still want two. I don't bring in Crypt Rats. But I think that would be a serious mistake. No, it's actually, it's not a Crypt Rat. I only played three Crypt Rats. That's weird. Okay, bugs and pigs, this is what you were done to do, what you were created to do. Beat Stompy. Three life staff seems like a lot, but I can't fetch them like I do in Trinket. In Mulligans, I keep. What is Brindle Boar doing in my deck? Young Wolf would suck now. Any other creatures? Okay, then I probably just change the edict. Depending on what this early threat looks like. Maybe I want the Tribe Builder. Oh, John Wolf. Now I am in trouble. And now it's definitely Tribe Elder. Do 
Locknäs och Sentinel. Kaffe Blue Mana. All right. Maybe Brindlebor will save me here. Save Holy Leaf. Not very scary if you ask me. It's just a bear. Cut the blue. Well, it is Brindle, Boar, and Tragic Slip this turn, right? That's what we're doing. Brindle, Boar, the Nettle Sentinel, Tragic Slip, something else. No, Brindle, Boar, the Young Wolf. <laughs> Brindle, Boar. I'll happily trade it for the Nettle Sentinel. Kill the safe hold delete. He's down to two one ones. River Boa. That's a great target for the tragic slip. Of course. Should I kill the young wolf? Yeah, I think I'm killing the young wolf. Tragic slipping the river Boa as I cannot block it. If he pumps now, but he didn't pump, so I can safely kill the river boa. Sweet. Tusker Edict. For a swamp, I guess. Not a swamp. And not an edict. But life staff. Look at my graveyard. I'm flooding a bit, but I do have the flashback cards, so that's not a great problem. Block and kill the young wolf. Not sacrifice the brindle boar. I need to get rid of the young wolf. But the gather carriages, the young wolf. So now I should sacrifice. And now we just have to edict a ton of things. Say full delete, of course. And then probably say full delete again.
Tribelder. I'm gonna take four here because I want the life staff equipped on it. And kill one of those guys. Yes. But I only have six mana. We play the forest, we can do the groundswell thing. Okay. Equip it. Now I can even attack. <laughs> That's a bit strange. Why do you have a scattershot archery against me? Grow spell, grow spell, grow spell. Oh, so good. Metal Sentinel was kind of immune to that. But now I have it all figured out, right? But it's just the Archer. That I get. But I will trade for the Metal Sentinel. And then I have a brindle boar. Yeah, looks good to me. No reason to F6. Is he giving up here? Will bugs and pigs survive into round seven? That's gonna be fantastic. Will bugs and pigs live? I think I have this match now. I don't think he can do much. I think triple life staff is a lot, but I have to find one. I think he's giving up. Which seems a bit early, actually. I have presented no threat. I can kill one more of his guys. I can actually deal with everything he has. And I have one more card. Just a Rancor would make things more difficult. A Rancor and a creature. But maybe it is done. Here is the deck list. Pause here if you want to see it. Of course, I'll post this link as well. I did not expect this deck to make it to round seven. Tell you that much. We did lose the first match we played against Mono Black Control, but after that, we have kicked the Ass of Infect twice, one against White Weenie, and then we had a Quitter. We seem to have a Quitter here too, but this is not a real quit. I actually have him under control here. But this is sort of the downside of Stompy. You lose against weird rogue decks, and uh, this is exactly what's happening here. 
Big shout out to Galactic President, by the way, for building this fantastic deck. I'm really impressed by how well it has played in the gauntlet. Uh, my opponent has disconnected. Back in version 3, I would then block him so he didn't take up my time in more matches. But I don't know how to do that in version 4. Anybody knows? Listen to this while he times out. Uh, Brindlebore. Oh God, I lost the pick. Brindlebores are a life gain source of choice and they do the job decently, better than you would think. And I think we proved that in this match. It was excellent. And who would, who would even think to test Brindlebore? My kudos to you, Galactic President. Very well brewed. And we win! Bugs and pigs! Yay! Thank you for watching.